Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, and yes, unfortunately I'm still recording a lot of these videos at the same time. Um, I can't really respond to comments, unfortunately, which I really don't like. I really prefer where I can make a video a day and then get you guys' guys feedback about things and your thoughts and other things like that. But, anyways, the show must go on because I still cannot save the game. So, right now we are, last time, at the end of the last episode, we spawned the Civil War using our focus called, uh, where is it? Uh, it's down here. Operation Augustus. Now... Honestly, I probably should have done that focus before the Civil War started, or before I went to war with Khazar's Legion, but spawning it now still isn't the worst thing. If anything, if Volpus' Legion wins, we will have to reclaim this territory, but that's not a bad thing, because right now, Khazar's Legion had has 52 divisions. Earlier, they had at least 60, and Volpus' Legion has 17 right now. So if Volpus' Legion wins, we just have to push back into Khazar's into the Legion's territory, which wouldn't be super hard if they had only 17 divisions. If Kaisar wins, well, then we just got rid of 17 of his own division. So, either way, I see it as a win overall. It just takes a little bit more time for us, but whatever. You know, that's alright. Our division, divisions are moving in. They're moving quickly. And my goal is just to wrap these guys up as fast as possible, to destroy the Legion, and then take out the Shi. Because once the Shi is gone, there's really no one that's probably going to be able to stand up to us too much, especially if we use our power armor. So, I'm taking a look at our decisions here. And just seeing, like, justify preemptive attack, that'll be good. Uh, there's a bunch of things down here which I should probably do as well. Bring fire and blood to dam busters. Get war goals against these guys. Develop the tribal lands. Um, let's, let's see if we can develop land close to a nation that's board, that borders us. Sky Reavers, no... Fire and Blood. Develop lands of the Shoshone. Tar Walkers. Tohono. Where the Tohono? There's Lone Tree up north. Shoshone. Bone Dancers. I don't know where that is. Dam Busters. Tar Walkers. And we, we board the Shoshone, so I don't mind doing... Oh. We develop the lands, but basically by doing that, we get the Annex Wargle against them. I want, to, I want to see if that does anything else, so let's just go ahead and click on that. See if that gives us anything else. We can't really build anything else. We've got a few more dockyards from the Khazar's Legion. So just go ahead and keep taking stuff. Oh, hold on. We'll talk about this in just a little bit. Super heavy barges. Um, sailing ships. Sure, why not? At everyone goes to Etna. So, the Midwestern Brotherhood aids the Legion. Dreadful news, perhaps due to the threat posed by the powerful and fearsome Chicago Enclave, the Midwestern Brotherhood has dispatched aid to Kaisar. These paladins will be willing to fight and die for the Legion to stop the reunited states from linking up with their boys in Chicago, who we only assume are reformers. Ah, Chicago, also known as Diego Garcia. Ah, very good. We'll deal with these guys one day. Jerks. Absolute jerks. But yeah, really... Spawning a civil war at any time is good. Oh, they even, they're even—they not even making anything. Now they're just trying to suppress uh, resistance. Oh, they've lost at least nine divisions. Volpus's Legion has lost none. They might have a little bit of manpower, but not really. I mean, our goal is just to destroy Kaisar's Legion. That's the main thing. The 41% way of the way towards capitulation. And I think we just encircled someone right there. Ooh, unread convoys. We actually have someone. We sunk four enemy convoys. Very nice. We have four task forces operating within the Gulf of California, as well as some of the waterways, waterways through here. Now, I don't know, and someone's going to tell me this, and I'm not going to recognize this for a long time, but someone might tell me if there's a way for me to get my ships from the Pacific to the Atlantic. I don't know, but if you can tell me, that'd be great. Stripping the vaults. Better living above ground. The vaults weren't designed to, designed to save anyone. They were designed for the American eternity to help America... Leave this world and surviving on desolate planets. Many vaults are failing after some 200 years, but there's still plenty of industrial gear we can refurbish and maintain, but some scientists have suggested we do way more research, or always do more research. Research speed is always nice. Or we can get more resource efficiency gain. Well, right now, I think we're doing okay on... Re re well, that's a lot of metal, holy... That's a lot of water that we don't even use. Um, I'm going to go with... Resources because I want more electricity in the future, and this will help stave off future proof us for a little bit in terms of needing more electricity, as well as some more advanced technology when I mass produce a god awful amount of power armor. 
Uh, for this, Brotherhood of Steel, Propaganda Campaign, Cleansing the Mojave. Well, let's go ahead and start seeking allies. Flagstaff has been liberated. Vertebrates sweep over as Enclave soldiers trample the Legion's banners. The city's slaves wait to hear or to learn whether they found freedom or a new master, but the president can be proud to know that for the first time in 200 years, the Stars and Stripes flies over Arizona. Hallelujah. Someone play the battle cry of freedom. Oh. I think that's what I chose for my national uh, anthem. Oh, do we have <clears throat> war goals against the Shoshone? Yes, we do. So really, it says develop. It's really just bring fire and blood, and it costs about 10 more political power, which makes no sense, but whatever. We can scavenge for tech. We can hold military theory committees. We can continue to bomb the hell out of Kaisar's boats and his convoys. Where are you going, boy? Where are you go Whoa, you're going to the bottom of the sea. That's where you're going. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, how much further? Quite a bit further, 66% of the way, 67, 66. They've taken a little bit less than 100,000 casualties. That's insane. Kaisar, you're done. You're done, Kaisar. No man part. Half of the divisions, less than half to what we started with. While Volpus still has n about the same amount. Technology-wise, that's... Oh, we can't really improve our power armor yet. It's 2283. Hmm, I could build this stuff, but that wouldn't really be necessary. We're almost done completely with engineering. Air doctrine stuff. Well, let's do some air doctrine. Power armor. I would love to go to war with some of these other nations. Shoshone. How many divisions do you have? 33, so I've got a way to go to war with them. So just go ahead and just plug up these guys with... Just throw as many power armor divisions as you have on them. But we definitely need more manpower. Um, render under Kaisar. We can send our men to help Lanius in exchange for an alliance if he wins. Vertebrates would surely be useful in his war against the rest of the Legion. Set the rule. We can now send volunteer forces, and Kaisar gets Centurion and Evander, which gains more daily intellectual support. So now at least we can send some volunteers. That's pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. Can I do any of this yet? I can. Cool. Oh, we can still make even more as we're producing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, yep, definitely right here. Anywhere else in our own territory? Right there. And let's let time go on as I'm going to build up a ton of stuff in Kaisar's lands, which um, won't really be useful since I'm pretty sure in this civil war, the Volpus's Legion will probably get all this stuff and we'll have to reinvade. But like I said, it, that really won't be a huge issue probably, so... Good and ready. We'll do all that stuff. Let the time go on. Ah, yes. Good. Very good. We get more initiative. I love it. Let's get some more defense and breakthrough and just speed along through this. Recruitment drive. Mobilization. Mobilization. Comedy. More legitimacy, huh? For 30 days, we get more weekly stability, which isn't a lot, but we get more legitimacy, which could help, actually. Even though legitimacy really doesn't matter as much anymore. Alright, boost civilian economy. Alright, well, I'm going to save my political power for a lot of this stuff. Navajo Nation. Cam oh, Camlo's up here. We need to go to war with Bellingham as well. Sky Reavers, definitely. Sky Reavers, are they part of any group? No, which is good. We might want to do the Sky Reavers. Ah, Seeking Allies, very nice. Brotherhood of Steel, we can't do this because they don't exist, so we can't get more war support or anti-Brotherhood propaganda or cleansing the Mojave chapter, which sucks, but whatever. Negotiate a group rate. Exchange robotic technology. This would guarantee New Vegas, and they become a puppet of me, which means I could eventually integrate them into my country. That's not a bad idea. But let's do something else first. Let's go, let's be open for business. Oh, you guys are done. Um, well, no one can really get down here. We're mopping up down there. Oh, godness. Now we're going to rely on Vulpus's Legion to get take these guys out. In the meantime, then, maybe we can go to war with the Shoshone. Just because they have a lot of divisions, but if I'm defending, we should be able to do okay. Mining, equipment, good. Get some more of this stuff. More organization sounds pretty nice to me. It's 2284. Happy New Year, guys. Happy, happy New Year. Come on, Volpus' Legion. You gotta do a little bit more than this. And go up north when you're done with that. 
Cool. Um, Kaiser is getting closer and closer. Bulbas's Legion will definitely win. They have 17. Kaiser's Legion has 5. So it's just a matter of time. But I'm also justifying on Volpus's Legion at the same time. So, at least I thought I was. I guess I wasn't. We'll do that just in case. So, we're kind of done here at the current moment. Who can we go to war with potentially fairly quickly? The She will take some serious time. We can go to war with the Sky Reavers, which wouldn't be a bad idea right now. Some manpower, some of that. So, let's do this. I'm going to position my power armor to border the Sky Reavers and see what happens. And I'll have my infantry at the back, close to Junktown, to do sort of the same type of deal. No one has upgrades. That's fine with me. Cool. Uh, definitely do this. Oh, 0 out of 10 infrastructure. That is not going to fly. Cool. Go ahead and retreat for now. This will be a smart tactical move. Um, guys, I hope you're still conquering Kaisar's Legion because I want them dead. And then I'll go to war with you as well. <clears throat> it's all part of my game plan. Cool. Uh, let's see. If we have to go to war with anyone else, honestly, Dam Busters would have been a good idea. Painted Men. What's the strength of the Dam Busters? Oh, wait. We already have a... Oh, we already have something against them. Yeah, they... A lot of these kitchens have a lot of um, strength. Wait. As Aegis has joined in her enemy against Painted Men... Well, where are you guys? Oh, you're already... Well, I mean, I guess that'll help clear off stuff, clear off the area a little bit faster, so... I guess that could be worse. Still 0 out of 10. This is going to kill a lot of our, um... infrastructure around here. At least we have 1 out of 10, that's good. Let these guys get warmed up. Um... Not everyone's here, though. Is everyone here? Oh, this doesn't even touch. Okay, that's cool. So, with that in mind, you guys, we should be okay doing this. Should be. I have no allies, so let's do that. See, they attack us. And Sky Reavers joined Kaiser Civil War, which is fine with me. Open for business. And actually, it's actually good to do it now, so when the war is over, I can take an annex to Sky Reavers, hopefully. Let's go ahead and do the Enclave Reborn. Because that will give us a next focus to go to war with Ashton and Hopeville. So right now, they can't pierce us. They can't push us out of here. So, just in case. I put these guys here just in case. Oh, there's some power armor. Oh, I did switch some of these divisions to power armor. Um, just in case things go south, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to make sure everyone is selected for this. Can we develop any more... Ooh... That's cool, but I need some more cores. Bring gun runners up to specs. We get more factory output and diversion and conversion speed, med tech, less division attrition, crimson trucking company. Every man a car. Well that'll be good to do for less supply consumption, more consumer goods, as well as faster construction speed. I like that. But seriously, I'm building a lot of these things, but I'm not seeing a lot of um winning with this. Any neighbor is a core. Well, do you guys have... It has to be a core. Core. I don't have a lot of cores yet. Oh, Etna needs... Okay, so Etna. Where's Etna? Etna should really probably do that first. Can, is this Old Chico? I need to do Old Chico. And Redding. Old Chico. Well, let's let time go on as well. Old Chico and Redding. The camp. I must have passed it. Old Chico. Oh, he's up here. He's already doing it. And Redding's doing it as well. Awesome. That's good stuff. You guys, how is the war going for us? Well, Kaiser's almost dead. Holy crap. These guys have lost 3,000 men and they're still attacking us like crazy. I, will, I love power armor. I love the Republic. Nice. Very good. You guys are doing a great job. How about some more gunships? Nothing says America like a bunch of gunships barreling down on you. Just that much more. Cool. And we're done with engineering. Cool. Uh, I guess we might as well make some naval stuff as well, right? Sounds like fun. Oh, right then. So, 
I think someone took out Kaiser's Legion, which is great. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what needs to be done, my friends. So Volpus's Legion, they did what they had to do. Totally fine. You guys are up north. Honestly, 19 divisions might be enough to kill these guys off. They do have 17. It's going to be a little bit of time before we go to war with Volpus's Legion, but that's fine. That's totally fine with me. Uh, I'm going to group them up like this. Let's see, you three. Let's let time go on a little bit. There's really no point to not let it go on. You two. And once they're, everyone's across the river, it'll be pretty easy to do this. You two, come over here. You all do this. Oh, yep, yeah, come on. Let's speed it up. And it looks like you six will come over here. So this should be bad to take out. Volpus's Legion is one. But at a great cost. Even though they only have 17 divisions, they don't have a lot of manpower, which is good for us. And they're... Okay, the Painted Men are also justifying on them because they probably have territory that they wanted. So... Very nice. Ah, the Enclave were born. A new America for a new world. Let the cry go out across the waste. The Enclave has guided America through its darkest hour to, to the promised land. We shall rid the world of mutants who dis dis desecrate our promised land. And before I do anything else, I actually want to convert, like, two of you... Oh, I can't convert two of you guys. To power armor. Thank you. Uh, we will crush the Brotherhood when, wherever we find it. We will rebuild and take the war back to China. America is reborn, tougher, stronger, and more unified than ever. Welcome back to our old flag. Awesome. And we'll do the last arguments of the presidents. Awesome. Very cool, my friends. Very cool. Go ahead and let these guys get a little bit more strength first. Uh, go ahead and build this up to maybe three or four. That'll be fine. Radar could probably come in handy. And maybe some planes? Awesome. America's capital. With the restoration of America, it's time to decide where to place where to place our capital. Some suggest we move to Shady Sands, the largest city in California, but others, fearful of the threat of protesters and dissidents, suggest we fortify Navarro. But there is a third idea. Um, I think I chose last time New Reno, but I'm going to choose this again because we will... New Reno will do until we free Washington, D.C. And, and by the end of this campaign, we will be in Washington, D.C. So I want to see if we can end up here. So that's where we're going to end up. This campaign is going to go on for quite a while and... uh. I'll be honest with you. Oh, wait, we're at peace? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not cool. I thought we were at war with each other. Um, how long will this take? Okay, five days. That'll be fine. But, uh, yeah. This campaign is going to be quite a while, and my computer is going to be left on for quite a while, because I still can't save. So I hope this game doesn't crash at all. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and go to war with these fellas. And they immediately go ahead and start fighting us, which is fine. <clears throat> Hopefully we can win these battles, maybe, maybe not. So far we have one, which is great. Sky Reavers, we're back at war with you. Very soon. Oh, I have it. Until May 5th, alright. And we definitely need some manpower. Come on. Oh, there we go. Whew. Oh, thank God. A little bit more manpower. Don't need a lot. Just just a whole bunch. Does that help? Oh my gosh. Over 4,000. Yes. Until the 5th. These guys should be not too bad to take out. Uh, does Volpus Legion have a navy? They have double the manpower than we saw last time. They do have 28 ships, but I'm not too concerned about that. Alright. Time to go to war with these guys. You had it too easy for last time. And you only lost a few hundred, maybe a thousand people, so... Their manpower definitely has to keep going down. Um, Defense? Sure, sounds good to me. Up north, we're still getting attacked like crazy, which is totally, totally cool with me. I'm going to keep grinding them down until they can't... Okay, they've already lost all their manpower on scraping the barrel. Wow. <clears throat> wow, guys. Oof. Oh, hello there. Oh, my goodness, yes. Give me those men. Oh, my gosh. If we get enough manpower, I might just go down to conscription level. Yeah, nothing yet. Okay, cool. Die bombing. Awesome. More ground support. Great. They just can't hit, do anything to me, which I love it. Love it, love it. Up here, they're doing the same sort of deal, where they are wasting away their manpower. 
Come on, guys, do it again. Ah, oh, I asked, and they did it again. Awesome. Ah, the last arguments of the presidents. The sins of our fathers straddling the border between California and the Mojave. Excuse me. <clears throat> our two prosperous trading towns, Ashton and Hopeville. These small towns have boomed in recent years thanks to civilization's recovery, and we're already on our list <clears throat> to liberate, to simplify logistics, if nothing else. But recently, we picked up some sort of signs or signals from pre-war military bases in the region. Since the area was, was home to ICBM missiles or bases before the war, we should secure the towns and investigate. Investigate. Interesting, you say, my friends. Interesting. Alright, so these guys are pummeling us, or attempting to pummel us, and... Oh, they went to war with Kaiser's Legion, which is good, so that some divisions up there that will be diverted, their attention will be diverted, as I invade them as well. Oh yeah, go ham when you can. Super Heavy Paddle Seamer. Wait, well, yeah, I prefer a Super Heavy Destroyer, so I'm not going to make the next batch until we actually get over there. Uh... Scrapping bites, cool. I want to see one more attack here before we move on. And up here, what's the situation like? Well, they're pretty much all dead, so I'll uh, go go crazy. Awesome. That group will be taken out. Uh, these guys are getting attacked once again. Do they have enough manpower? No, they're out of manpower. So if we pushed, they could not recover from what we're about to do. This is brutal. And I love it. They can't pierce us. They just... It's GG. Oh, the Shoshone are all the way down in the Gulf of... California. Huh. Another power armor division? Yes, baby. Load me up with those men. Just awesome. Oh, and we are going crazy. That'll be good when we go to war with Vulpus' Legion again, so... Uh, for this... Dam Busters, Ashton Hope Belt. Yes, baby. Uh, I will go to war with Vulpus' Legion on by August 26th, but I want to finish off the Sky Reavers. I don't think they're going to hold up for that much longer. All right, my friends. I'm going to send all 19 divisions of you over here. You're not going to be here in time. But that doesn't matter. Because we're going to go to war anyways. I'm not going to call our allies. And we'll have a great time anyways. Oh, you are... You made it fast, boy. What are you doing? Uh, and they, they allied with a Shoshone who just capitulated. Oh, create a faction with the Painted Man. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the Enclave works alone. Maybe except for with the help of New Vegas. Mm, no, I'm okay. I mean, you guys are doing okay. You don't need my help. Cool. So, that was great. Can I go to war with the Bone Dancers next? Oh, hello there. Oh, baby. And if you're cord, that means I can do Northern Reaches eventually as well. Oh, I can do this one too. Cool. Um. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the actual Woodland Lake. Nevada Range. Just awesome. Rebuild the four Commonwealth states. And then we'll do rebuilding the Pacific Northwest. Ooh, the Mormon Faith. Reservation. Open the nursery. The Crimson Trucking Company. Well, let's see. Painted Man, Great Cons, Damn Busters, Camlo, which we can't get to. Oh, Bone Dancer, yes. We want to do Bone Dancer. We actually might not have enough divisions up here because the territory is very large up here. Um, how many divisions they have? I'm sure they have quite a few. Ah, they only have 20. That's not a lot. I'm going to send you over here to spawn next so I can actually add the power armor to those guys. Oh, we actually found 10 Kaisar's thingy-mobobs. Oh. Uh, you guys focus in the north. And then you guys focus in the south. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we want to do Antelope Tribes. Oh, another power grid. Thank you very much. Shady Sands has already been cored. Thank you very much. Anything else? No, not yet. That's okay. Very nice. And, of course, all of this will have to be cored. Uh, and all of this will have to be cored as well. And everything I took earlier, of course, will have to be cored. Anything else? No, looks pretty good. 
Looks amazing, my friends. Battles against these guys will be a little bit more difficult because we can't cover all this territory, which really kind of sucks. So, what I'm thinking... Plop, plop. I need more divisions over here. They don't have the training, but that's okay. I'll let you guys go as soon as we possibly can. But they do have a lot of trucks, which is a little worrisome. So, whenever this division is ready to go, I will plop them out as well. Uh, the training, 29%, 30%, there you go. Because training, who needs training? All you need is more divisions. Cool, basic drill, awesome. Advanced energy weaponry, more defense and breakthrough. I love advanced technology so much. I'm not even paying attention to the war because we're just reconquering whatever we conquered earlier. Ah, oh, Vulpus is Legion, you should not have trusted me. Ha ha ha. We've got a lot of Shoshone. Ooh, nice, super heavy destroyers, great. Oh, we definitely need some landing landing canoes, because those will come in handy a little later on. So, eh, let's go ahead and replace this. Super Heavy Destroyers. We got quite a bit of naval XP. Can we upgrade anything? No. Yes. No. Level 3 Battleship Armor? No. Cannons? No. Anti-air? No. Alright, and no radar. That's fine. Do that... Make one, two, and then one, two. There you go, that's how you do it. Cool. So we'll just let time go on, take, let these guys take these guys out, no problemo. Actually, if anything, I want you guys to focus really down this direction. I want you guys not to be so scrunched up so you have freedom to move around here. Oh, Red City Sun is your capital, huh? I didn't know that. Doesn't really matter, though. Alright, so how's the situation up here? <clears throat> this is... Oh, we're building the Pacific Northwest. Nice. Uh, Let's do Brotherhood Soldiers next, for funds. For funsies. Over here is going to be a problem. Where they're, wherever they have motorized is going to be a major problem, but I think we'll be okay if we can take the capital. So, uh, before we do that, find ready power grid. Thank you, Ransburg. Oh, Mojave Base. Renoville. Barstow. Landers. Baker. East Eagle. Some other CH word. Long 15, I can say that one. Palm Springs. Dana, Dana Point. Dana Point. L.A. San Gabriel, Greater Day Glow, Salton City, Paymaster Landing, Blythe, Tumble Home, Valley of the Names. Awesome. Really good stuff. And Manpower jumps up to something. Nothing. Cool. Oh, do we have. Yeah, we still. Oh, oh we need a lot more electricity, but whatever. Let's go ahead and go to war. But I'm going to direct some of these guys to go down to the capital if you can. Obviously, we won't, we won't be able to get to everything, but that'll be alright. And they joined the Great War Band. Who is allied with Khazar's Legion. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, just get down to Crow's Haven if you can. Oh, they got some Securitrons. Interesting. Combat armor, nice. Let's get some flare guns for a better reinforce rate. Alright, so they're not expanding. They're really not expanding. We are expanding into them. We've taken their capital. We've made a small little encirclement. Awesome. And these guys are almost gone. They're almost gone. Surviving Chinese paratroopers declared war on the people of Phil City. I wonder what Phil City means. Hmm. I can't believe surviving Chinese paratroopers took out all of New Jersey. Wow. That must have been a lot of Chinese people then. Oh. Nice. Well, let the time go on. I'm not too concerned about the north. It should be okay, but, you know, I, I said that before. And it really wasn't okay. Santa Rosa. Oh, look at that manpower going up. Oh, my goodness. San Rafael. Point Green. Crescent. Temple of Trials. Arroyo. 
Oh my gosh, I think we've just built like everything up here already. Just waiting for all this stuff to get cored. Well, I guess not everything, but a lot of things. Cult Creek, Crowlands, Cannibal Territories. Nice. Awesome stuff, guys. Elkhorn. Nice, nice, nice. And there goes the Bone Dancer. See, no worries, no worries. Especially in this part of the game. Ooh. Kingsley. A lot of organs getting colonized or cored. And a little bit of Washington, I suppose, as well. Vault 6, huh? And that's pretty much it at the moment. So, we took out those guys up north. Great job, guys. You did a phenomenal job. Uh, oh, we got even more to core. Jesus. So much coring needs to get done. But, um, let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and do Reclaim Seattle and get the event of the Dark Foundry. Uh, we've heard that the Washington Brotherhood worships a Dark Foundry, but as we dig them out of the ruins of Seattle, it appears the truth is more prosaic. A Zack supercomputer survived the war and has been advising the Washington Brotherhood in exchange for resources. Hard to imagine anyone would be dumb enough to follow a supercomputer, but it's picked up a great deal of knowledge and advice about the wasteland. Pull the plug or get more factory output. Um, we're doing pretty well on this already. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Cool. So that'll be pretty much it for right now, guys. Hope you enjoy this episode. Leave a like if you liked the video. We are slowly reconquering the entire Pacific. And we are just now crushing again a remnant of Kaisar's Legion. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Remember, guys, I cannot save my game, so I really can't get to your comments, which I really don't like. But regardless, I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.